Let's learn about vowel teams. We're going to learn two vowel teams in this lesson. We're going to have the vowel team AI, which says A, and the vowel team AY, which also says A. We've learned two ways to write A before. We have A consonant E with the bridge E, silent E, making the letter say A. And we have A by itself in an open syllable. We have cake, which says A. And an example of A by itself in an open syllable would be bacon. I would divide it after the A, that would make it open syllable, and it would be bay, bacon. There are two more ways to write the long A sound. We have vowel teams AI and AY. AI can be found at the beginning of a word, like in the word aim. This boy is going to aim his bow and arrow. But we don't use AI at the end of a word. Like in the word pay, we don't write it P-A-I because English words don't end in I. But we can have it in the middle of a word, like in the word paint. So what do we use for the end of a word? We have to use A-Y. This is how I would write pay, and I can have it as a base word. Pay, and then if I add a suffix, it can be the word paying. So the base word has A-Y as an ending. I can make another word by adding a suffix, and it would be the word payment. Sometimes we have words that sound the same but are spelled differently because of meaning. Look at the word pain, P-A-I-N. It means something hurts you and you're in pain. But we have another word, pain, like a pane of glass. And we have to spell that differently because it has a different meaning. We spell that P-A-N silent E. So that is the reason why we have two different spellings, is because we have two different meanings. We have another example. We have mail that we send, M-A-I-L, and a male, meaning a man, M-A-L-E. Now, let's try and read some sentences. Here's one. The cat jumped up and hit a pane of glass and got a pane. You see how that's different spellings because there's different meanings? Let's try another one. We have, my dad is a male, meaning a man. And we have, he went to get the mail. Let's practice reading some words with prefixes and suffixes. We have the prefix re, then main, and then ed, remained. Now I have the prefix x, then the base word plain, and then ing is the suffix ing, explaining. Then I have com, com, Complain, and then ed, complained. When we use the vowel team ay, it will be at the end of a base word, like in the word stray. But when we add a suffix, then it will still be at the end of a base word, but it looks like it's in the middle of the word, like in the word straying. If my cat is straying from home, or if my cat strayed from home yesterday, I would add the suffix ed, strayed. I'm sure you'll do a great job this week 
reading with your Valentines, A-I and A-Y. Just remember, A-I is at the beginning or the middle of a word, and A-Y is used at the end, because English words don't end in I. Have a great time reading.